Bob Surtees stayed in the camera department, and he uh, he said that uh, he didn't have the knowledge to to even create uh, odd things, and I didn't understand didn't understand what he was talking about. But he he approached me one day and said, uh, "I'm shooting this scene, and I want the, the picture I want the picture to turn out." Uh, like this image, and he showed me in a book, and uh, we were working on the last picture show, and he said, uh, uh, I want the image to look like the images that are shown in this book. And I looked at the book, and they were like graduation photos. And he says, I want the people to look like that. I want them to be that stark white look. And I said, uh, okay. And I said, uh, you, you put a red filter on it and a green filter on it at the same time. And uh, that should make it look very stark. And uh, so he made a test and it worked out quite well. And. Uh, and the other thing that he said to me was, uh, uh, he quit three times in the picture. <laughs> uh, and each time he quit, I quit. Because uh, I realized that this guy, I want to be, I want to, to emulate, I want him to be my mentor. And, and he was, uh, he taught me a lot. And, and uh, he said that, uh, uh, the scene that where uh, where the clouds came on to the to the shot, and he wanted that cloud effect, and he he uh, he waited for the clouds to come in to roll in, and then he says, "Okay, ready to shoot," and we started shooting, and. Uh, Peter Bogdanovich uh, said, cut. <laughs> and he says, why are you cutting? And he said, because those clouds came over. He says, those clouds was what I was waiting on. <laughs> so we had to do it again. We waited a while, and the clouds came up, and, 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 and we did it again. And it worked out perfect. And he won the Academy Award for that. Yeah, it was great. He was, uh, he was a very likable person, and he, uh, he, he had uh, a quality about himself that, that suggested that he was honorable and that he would, would fight for, fight for me uh, to, to be able to express myself.